What's up guys? This is Bobby with Spitting the Truth About Records. And this is video is going to be about best pressings of Sam and Dave's Soul Man, best pressings of Fleetwood Mac Rumors, Rolling Stone Sticky Fingers, and Rolling Stones Let It Bleed. Now also guys, another thing before we start, if you guys could do me a big favor and hit the like and subscribe button back there, like I said before, it'll be doing me a big favor, helping me along with my YouTube channel. All right guys, today's featured record is Tom Jones' Greatest Hits. Now guys, to tell you a little story here, you know, I'm going online, I'm looking up Tom Jones on tour, right? And I'm looking to see if I can get some tickets before this guy kicks off, right? Because I want to see him, right? So I'm looking through, and you're not going to believe the cheapest tickets you can get to see Tom Jones in concert are $800. I mean, I know the win is small, but come on, guys. Anyways, Tom Jones' greatest hits. Got a lot of great songs. It's not unusual. What's new, Pussycat? She's a lady. Delilah. Tom Jones fans, pick it up. Starting it off, Sam and Dave's Soul Man. I love this album, guys. I haven't seen anybody, you know, make a video of the best sound impression of Soul Man. So I had to because I love it. This is one of my favorite albums. I have ran this through so many damn times. I've had to buy copy after copy because I play this one so damn much. This is the original Stax Yellow Labeled Stereo. Uh, these are great sounding. Uh, if you're a mono fan, you have to go for the Stax Blue Label, but I tend to like it in stereo better, so that's a good sounding record right there. Sam and Dave Soulman's original Stax Yellow Label. Next up is the Sam and Dave on Atlantic Japanese. Uh, now this one, guys, sounds like all the Japanese pressings that I get. You get quiet, quiet vinyl. Uh, you get the bass is toned down a little bit, the mid-range is sucked out, and the highs are kind of uh, a little smooth. But this one, it's not a bad, it's just, it's just not my favorite of Soul Man. Moving on, Sam and Dave, Soul Man, reissue on Atlantic US. Uh, guys, this is a totally different mix from the first US stereo, and... Uh, Guys, it's a lot hotter than uh, the original stereo. Uh, this is the remix stereo. Uh, this version, I don't know. I'm used to it because, you know, I have uh, heard it so many times. And when I had to buy, you know, rebuy the record, this is usually what you got. Uh, not a bad one, just a little too hot for my liking. If you want the best sounding stereo... Skip the Japanese, skip the 70s, 80s, Atlantic, and go for the yellow label, you know, stacks. Or, if you're a mono fan, go for the blue label, mono. Coming up next, Fleetwood Max Rumors. Now, this is one of the most top-selling albums ever. Uh, U.S. pressing. Uh, so many guys have tried to cut this. I've, this record has been cut, reissued, cut, reissued, and reissued again. Rinse and repeat, guys. Uh, the U.S. pressings are phenomenal. You get the right U.S. pressings. They sound as good as this album is going to sound. Uh, U.S. first pressing. Next. Coming up next. German first pressing. Uh, guys, these ones sound good, too. Uh, can pick this one up quick. I think 25 to 30 bucks shipping might be a little more. Uh, guys, it's a coin toss whether I like the West German or the U.S. most. But to be honest, I'd probably go with the U.S. As I'm more familiar with the style, I like it. It doesn't push uh, the vocals back. The German pressing pushes the vocals back just a tad you know, the U.S. keeps it right where I want it. This is the new one that everybody is talking about. Pressed at Palace. Uh, cut by uh, Steve Hoffman and Kevin Gray. It uses the same stampers as, uh, I think, the DCC one. They also cut this at 45 RPM. 
Everyone's raving about this in the Hoffman forums, guys. This sounds dead, lifeless. It's it's just they they suck the life out of it, guys. Uh, I don't like it. It's too damn freaking smooth for me. Uh, this is a skip for me. Although I've known a lot of people that like it. Uh, my question to them: have, have you compared it to another copy? If so, then maybe that's your preference, and that's the type of the way you like your music. But for me, skip the 45 RPM because they're like 60 to 70 dollars. This one is going out of print, so the 33 is probably going to be more money than you can spend. Uh, go for the U.S. Uh, originals or the West German pressings; those sound good. Coming up next, we got Sticky Fingers. Now this is the UK. Tell this is the UK because it's a top loader. You got the original fly. See? Now, on the UK, sticky fingers, you get a better vinyl. But for some reason, I don't like this mix. I don't like this cut. The Sticky Fingers UK first press is not my favorite sounding copy of Sticky Fingers, guys. I think you can do better. Coming up next is the newest one. Now, guys, this newest one. Oh, cut by Miles Showell at half speed at Abbey Road. Highs are sparkling. The bass is right where it needs to be. Never heard a record sound better. Guys, I'm kidding. This is an April Fool's joke. I do not know who the frick was mastering it. Well, we do know, but maybe he fell asleep. Maybe he twisted a few too many uh, up while he was freaking cutting this record. But this record sounds wrong, guys. Uh, it's like his vocals, Mick Jagger's vocals sound like he's at two houses over while it's being recorded. Uh, I really thought I got a bad pressing when I first heard this and then I scrolled down in the reviews and sure, slowly but surely one by one one by one somebody was saying I have never heard a worse cut of this record avoid the newest half speed master of sticky fingers guys it's horrible uh, next up no that's the UK next up guys is the US first press Now, guys, the U.S. first presses, I like them. I tend to think they sound better. Now, a lot of the Stones albums, you think they're a U.K. band, so the U.K. pressing should all sound better. But not all of the Stones albums were recorded in the U.K. Some of them were recorded in the U.S., so you have to check that. But... Being where it was recorded doesn't always mean it's going to sound better. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. U.S. first pressing of Rolling Stones Sticky Fingers. This is the best Sticky Fingers is going to sound. Being that it's not a very well recorded album to begin with. It's kind of funky sounding, kind of airy. Just not a lot of, you know, liveliness to it. But the U.S. is going to give you the best that that album is going to sound. And plus, it's probably cheaper than the U.K., not cheaper than the freaking Half Speed Master, but you don't want the Half Speed Master, guys. Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. U.S. Pressing. London Blue Label. Now, guys, this one is a pretty good sounding record. It's more hot and airy than uh, the U.K. counterparts. Uh... But it's not a bad sounding record. It, it just depends on your guy's preference. Uh, some guys like it like that. Uh, some guys like it, you know, tuned down, smoothed over. And some guys like it freaking flat as a pancake. I'm not one of them. Next up. UK First Press. Decca. Guys, great sounding record. Great, great, great sounding record. 
The UK of Let It Bleed First Press is probably my favorite. Uh, I've gone back and forth between the two listening, trying to pick which one's the best. The UK is to me. Here's the UK second. Also on the Deca label blue. Another good sounding record. Uh, I just like the way Let It Bleed sounds on, you know, the UK. You get better vinyl. The sound is a little smoother on top, but not much. And see, that's the thing. The difference between, you know, taking a tiny bit off the top and taking too much makes a huge difference. So anyways, guys, that's my end of my video for today. And this is Bobby with Spitting the Truth About Records. If you like the content, please, please hit the like button and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. All right, guys. Thank you. See you guys later.